Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for another episode of my What's New on the High Street videos. I am feeling so much better today. I've still got a bit of a sore throat and I've still got a cough which is so annoying. But as a whole, as a human, I'm feeling better compared to last week. I watched back that video the other day because I was just looking for something in the description box and I'm literally like, hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm feeling better today. I'm so 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 excited to share with you everything that's in this video today I am loving pieces this week for anyone that is new here. Hi, my name is Jess Welcome to my little bubble of internet every week I do a little haul of all the high street shops and show you my favorite pieces what the trends are etc 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 I don't keep everything. I mean I keep quite a lot <laughs> I am very expressive with my hands today so yeah, these are just basically my favourite pieces that I'm loving on the high street and then we kind of discuss as a group what I should keep and what I should send back and what you guys love and all of that kind of stuff and what you guys hate. So if it is useful for you guys to know while you're watching me try some of the stuff on, I am size UK 10 and I am 5 foot 6 and a half. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly tell you what I am wearing today. Today I am sporting a nice slick back greasy hairstyle. I straightened my hair this morning for the first time in like five years or something and it just made my hair look really like pfft. so I've just whipped it into a ponytail. <laughs> and then I am wearing my mango jumper that I bought from Mango obviously but from Hall Week. I love this. It's so warm. It's actually a little too warm for today. I'm slightly too hot in it but it's just so nice and big and slouchy and just my dream. If you've been watching any of my videos you know I love this style of knitwear. I have a little Misoma necklace on. I will link all of this below by the way and I'll link all my jewels. And then today guys I'm wearing a different pair of jeans. No, no, crazy. Normally I only wear my Levi jeans or my straight leg Topshop jeans but today I'm sporting, let me take my slippers off, I'm also Classically wearing my slippers. Today I am sporting a pair of Topshop mum jeans, I think. Distressed mum jeans, which always makes me laugh when a jean is distressed. I must have a very stressful life. Let me just go up here and show you them. So they've got a really cool rip on the knee. I love this colour, this light wash, um, and I've got my Gucci belt on. I absolutely love these jeans. I've had them for a really long time. The rip on the knee has got a bit bigger over time because every time I put ripped jeans on, I somehow manage to get my foot stuck through the knee hole. And I'm like, how? I'm I'm a functioning adult. Why can't I put jeans on properly? So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Let's crack on to what I've been buying this week. I normally do these videos sitting down, but today I was like, hey, I'll stand up. I'll try on as we go. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Where should we start? Mm. I'm gonna start with a cream big knit jumper. Not this one that I'm wearing. No, no, another one. <laughs> if you are not a fan of this item of clothing that I'm about to show you, I feel like you're going to struggle with this channel. I feel like this channel might not be for you. <laughs> because this is pretty much a summary of everything I love in life. It's a big cable knit, slouchy, cream, jumper, perfectness. And I love it. I got this in a size 12, so I've oversized. And it is £34 from Topshop. Just look at it. Yes, identical to what I'm wearing. But this doesn't have the, the pattern, you know? I need the pattern as well. And it's a different material. This is much soft, like a much more of a soft big chunky knit wool and this is very much more of a more cottony style wool with a cable knit pattern. Look at these sleeves as well, these are massive oversized sleeves. So I'm going to pop this on and show you what it looks like. So from one cream jumper to another. Oh my god, I love it. Look at this sleeve though, look at this dramatic sleeve. You will not be getting your arms into a leather jacket with this jumper on. No, no, I can tell you that now. You might be able to like fold it up, just like kind of wrap wrap it up and stuff it into a puffer jacket. But this is a statement sleeve jumper. Oh my God, it's so amazing. So this is just dreamy. I'm glad I oversized actually. Like I really like how big and baggy this is. I'm really loving this style. The sleeves are a little big, but you know, I don't care. Perfect for this time of year. I've got the hiccups. It's so inconvenient. I'm trying to film a video. Why? How do you get rid of hiccups? Drink water backwards. That's never worked for me. My trick is to hold your breath and then keep inhaling whilst holding your breath to go. <sighs> yeah, big, big fan of this. Big statement jumper, little black denim skirt, pair of jeans, little bag. I've got this bag from last week. Good to go for this time of year, perfect. This bag is also from Topshop, I will link it below. This will look cute with like little skirts and a pair of tights and all of that, all of that jazz. And also this is the kind of jumper that would look great over a maxi skirt. I had one in my Urban Outfitters haul, which would look so cute with this jumper. From one 
chunky cream knit to another, the third of the day. <laughs> Mm. This is beautiful. Now, if you watched last week's video or my Zara haul, you will know my deep obsession with this pom-pom style of jumper. Can you see them on there? I just love it. I think it's such a cool trend. I have all the nostalgia. It reminds me of my grandma's baby blankets she used to make us. Now, this is an expensive option. This is an And Other Stories jumper, so you're looking at £79 for this jumper. Expensive. Expensive. But pretty. Pretty. So I'm going to try this on for you. It's got a quite high funnel neck. I've got this in a small. It looks quite oversized anyway. But I just love this pom-pom style. I'll link some other options to pom-pom jumpers that I'm loving below if you don't want to spend £80 on a jumper. Okay, so this is the And Other Stories option. Now that I've put it on, it is a little bit itchy on my skin. If I was wearing a long sleeve top or even a t-shirt in general, I'm naked under here, apart from a bra. It would be fine, but it is just a little bit itchy, so if you are like me and you have a very sensitive skin to wool, then this is a little bit itchy. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but oh, it's just a beautiful piece of knitwear. And this is something that you would keep forever and ever. It's such a timeless fit, such a timeless shape, and these are so cute. But yes, I'll link some other pom-pom options below. What do you think about this one? Which cream jumper do you like so far? Mango, Topshop, or And Other Stories? Again, you'd have a little bit of issues putting this into a jacket but you'd be fine in a coat this would be fine this is a very as always a very very knitwear orientated haul we've got one two three four four more pieces of knitwear i'm gonna dive into this little number as you know animal print huge right now big trend very fashionable in fact i have two pairs of shoes to show you one of which is in snake print and one of which is in leopard stay tuned for those at the end of the video but i just thought whilst there's an animal print type why settle for one print on a jumper? Why not go two? Zebra and leopard. Snow leopard. Look at this for a statement piece of knitwear. This is so fun. This is from Topshop. I got this in a small because it looked big. It's big, you know? Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be too like, whoa, what are you wearing? But I just walked past it three times in Topshop and each time I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. And then by the end of it, I was just staring at it being like, I'm going to take it. How much was this one? £39. So let's try this on and see what we look like. Kind of looks like I'm auditioning to be in The Lion King, but I haven't decided which part I want to play. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. I feel like I should be on stage pretending I'm a zebra in The Lion King musical. So this is a very, very Marmite piece. Either you love it or you hate it. It's just so fun. It's just so cool. Even though it's black and white, it's very vibrant. It's very powerful. You are ticking that animal print trend. You're snuggly. You're out there. You guys are going to hate it. I can feel it. I can feel my voice kind of going because I'm getting too excited. So what do you guys think about this one? Would you wear it? Is it too much? Just with like a little black mini skirt, the one that was in last week's haul, black bag. And you could go to a zoo and be like, hey guys, just hanging out, vibing what you guys are wearing, so thought I'd copy you. Anyway, let me know what you think about this one. Next up, we have another black piece of knitwear. It's quite rare for me to have all of this, like, cream, white, black colours, and no bright pink. It's got this gorgeous blue detailing on it, it kind of looks like paint splashes. Let me hold it up here so you can have a better look at it. This is from Topshop. I've oversized in this to a size 12, and it's £36. I absolutely love this. I think this is a really beautiful piece of knitwear. It just looks like little flowers. It just looks beautifully decorated and kind of floral, and oh my god, the trains are so loud today. I'm going to pop this on and show you it looks like it's gonna be a very long crop if that makes sense so it's not a crop jumper but it's not like a long jumper mid medium cropped like a long cropped jumper I'm actually really overheating in this so I'm gonna put this one on okay so I absolutely love this you probably don't need to size up in this but obviously I did because I have an addiction to oversized baggy jumpers but I absolutely adore this I think this looks beautiful with a pair of denim jeans you've got all the different shades of denim on here so it doesn't matter what color your jeans are it would look really cute I love this I think this is really nice for this time of year as well it's not very Christmassy which we're starting to see a lot of stuff coming in now which is very Christmas focused and very wintry whereas this is perfect for the next couple of months and it's kind of got a frozen vibe to it. It looks quite icy, which I love. And this would also go really nicely into spring. So this is a cute one to like have in your wardrobe for a while. What do you guys think about this one? I think it like just fits really nicely. It's perfect tucking length. So it comes down to about here, but it's like perfect just to tuck, you know? So yeah, I really like this one. What do you think? What's your favorite jumper so far? It's also got these really nice oversized long cuff vibe 
things. I have to stop saying vibe. You guys have made me so conscious about it in the comments. You're always like, vibe, vibe, vibe. And I'm like, I can't help it. It's just my language. So I'm going to try and cut down. Maybe when my cold goes, it'll be easier not to say the word vibe because my brain will be working a bit better. So I'll be able to think of new words. I love this. And it's nice for me to be in like a black jumper. I never buy black, really, ish, apart from today quite a few things that are black should we keep just going with knitwear or would you rather see something else would you like a break in your knitwear no i'm just gonna keep soldiering through i'm just so excited to get to this jacket you're gonna love it okay so two more pieces of knitwear one which is gray ta -da, and one which is mustard color ta -da. which one should we do first gray or mustard gray or mustard let's go mustard this is again a top shop piece of knitwear oversized in this as well size 12 34 pounds cropped love big flared kind of sleeve thing kind of got a bat style sleeve as well i love looking at jumpers like this on the hanger they just look like someone just doesn't know how to cut a jumper doesn't this look like the weirdest shape for a jumper someone's been like oh meh like it literally looks like someone's given up on how to cut it <laughs> i'm gonna try this on because i think this will look really cute with a pair of high-waisted jeans apart from looking like a condiment i love this i like the color very autumnal perfect cropped length to do a little mini tuck if you're wearing high-waisted jeans. But yeah, I really like this. I like the flowy bat style. It's a little bit itchy if you have your, your wool itchy vibe like me. Vibe, Jessica, stop it. But um, completely wearable. Perfect for this time of year. I really like it. And I love this roll down neck. If I come a bit closer, you can see that it kind of just looks like it's been well, rolled down. I like this colour, it's a bit different, would look really cute with a black bag, like this one, which I will link below. And also, I've got my H&M bag that I bought in my H&M haul um, here as well, and I think that would look really cute as well, just with the, the mauve colour of this bag and then the mustard colour of this. I'm just trying to show that, like, even though this is, like, quite a strong colour, you could just... You don't have to wear it with all black. You can mix it up. So yes, this is knitwear jumper number 172. Right, final piece of knitwear to show you is this grey jumper. I'm constantly looking for a perfect grey knit jumper. I bought a grey jumper when I was at university. I was in first year, I think. And I bought this grey jumper from Topshop. And it lasted me like four or five years. And it was so perfect. It was just the perfect grey jumper. You know, when you see someone in a perfect grey jumper and you're like, yes, honey, you have found it. Anyway, I had one and now it's so old. It's like completely stretched out of shape. It had an accident with the tumble dryer. So we're looking for a new one and I've picked up this one from H&M. I am loving H&M at the moment. Like, honestly, fangirl number one here. I've got this in a medium, so it's oversized and it's $24.99. It just feels quite thick and warm. So let's try this one on. Okay. So I've rolled the sleeves up a little bit, but obviously you don't have to. You can just have them loose like that over your hand, but just for a little demo, I've done some rolling. I love this. I like the fit of it. I like the length of it if I unpin it there. So this is just a really cute jumper, like so, but then obviously I tuck everything in, but it looks so cute tucked in like that. You get the perfect kind of flop here it's a really nice length behind it's quite long the sleeves are really easy to roll up to a nice length i love this neck this would look great with like a really nice piece of statement jewelry fling on a jacket over your shoulders like so this is my new look jacket from last week get your bag mixing your grays your mauve and your gray or go in there with your all black oh and i also picked up this bag from primark which i'm going to show you in a minute so it's a spoiler i know but i think it would look so cute with this outfit it's this little um round bag from primark this deep purple color with the gray and the black so cute guys so cute the reason i like gray jumpers so much is because gray is such an easy color to wear every single month of the year this is such a perfect spring jumper with like a nice floral mini skirt but then this is also perfect for going ice skating at christmas or perfect in the summer evenings with a pair of denim shorts or perfect for now i really like this let me know do you think this is the one or should i keep looking and let me know if you have any perfect gray jumper suggestions i'm all ears and i had one that i was wearing last week beautiful love that but that's more of like a fashion piece for me that's not like the grey jumper of my life, you know? The one that you always turn to. 
I've gone on about this too long. I'm going on to the next item. Okay, we're done with knitwear. We've got a nice top, a dress, and a skirt to go, and a coat of dreams. I'm just gonna show you this sweatshirt. I haven't shown you a sweatshirt this week. This one is from H&M as well, and it says Femme Parisienne, and it is in a medium, and it is $29.99, and it's just a nice black sweatshirt. I never buy sweatshirts in black, so I thought this was quite cute, and I like the little writing on it. It looks quite designer, so I'm gonna try this on. Super easy style, super casual. Literally nothing to say about this. It's a perfect fit. It's a nice sweatshirt material. It reminds me of a Brandy Melville vibe. This I would wear to the gym, if I ever go, I'm gonna start going to the gym. I really need to. I need to get fitter. I'm just so tired all the time. But anyway, just like perfect going to the gym, wearing working in the flat, going out for coffee. So cute, the pair of jeans, good with a big fluffy coat or a different colored coat or a leather jacket. So yeah, really great basic and not too expensive. And I love H&M, so I love this. I'm gonna show you this little number now. It's this beautiful little dog tooth skirt. I really like the zip detail down the middle. And then you've got the little clasp button up here. I'm loving dog tooth print at the moment. So I really wanted to try this on. It's got a nice little stretch in it and it's got pockets. This one I got in a size 10 and it's 29.99. So let's try it on with the sweatshirt oh I really like this let me go up on the chair and show you what it looks like so it's a really nice length it's not too long it's not too short at all like you really feel like quite covered I love the pocket detail it actually looks really cute with this sweatshirt it's super comfortable this can be really smart you could wear this to work or you could just wear this casually and it looks really cute with this uh, sweatshirt jumper as well so that's good I'm gonna save this for like a big reveal at the end but I'm just gonna show you really quickly how cute this would look as an outfit I'm a big new aviator style coat from Primark but look how cute this looks as an outfit your nice warm coat you've got your black jumper and your cute little skirt so it's just so wearable and so cute I'm gonna hide this until the end and then I'm gonna show you it in detail oh but wow look what that coat has done to me I am covered Covered in floof, covered in floof. Oh no, I was not expecting this. Someone get me a fur roller, oh my god. I'm gonna just jump in and show you this dress. If you watched my Topshop haul week video, you will have known I bought this dress in brown kind of burnt orangey brown. I saw it in black in Topshop and I absolutely love my orange one. It's beautiful, it fits me so well, it's very grown up but it's so cool. So I picked this one up because you know what they say, if it fits, buy it twice in every colour. Do they say that? No, no one says that. I got this in a 10 and it's £49 and it's beautiful, it's got these gorgeous splits, splits, slits, splits, slits so it's really nice and flowy yeah I'm gonna see if this one looks as nice as the brown one so I'm gonna try this one on for you okay so we're in the dress I'm not sure if I like this one on the brown one better I think I like the brown one better still but this is still the most flattering amazing beautiful grown-up item of clothing that I could possibly own let me go up here to show you so as you can see it's got these really cute little slits on either leg so when you walk it's got a really really nice flow I would probably turn up the sleeves on this let me know what you think. Do you like it or did you prefer the brown one? I think I prefer the brown one, but I'm not sure. And then this is just something so easy to style. Like you just fling on this dress, fling on a pair of boots and you're good to go. So perfect with a big scarf. Oh, amazing. Right, I have this little shirt to show you. This is a little find I had from H&M. Kind of liked it, kind of autumnal. Very different from other things I normally buy. But let's try it on. It looks a bit sheer, so we'll see what it looks like. And then we have two bags, two pairs of boots and my jacket to show you. Quite big haul today. So this is the top. This is very different for me. Very like frilly. I really love it. I don't know if I like it as much as the snakeskin body that I had in my Zara haul on Sunday. But yeah, this is just so autumnal. It's just so perfect for this time of year. And for 29 dollars Tonight. It's quite expensive, but this is such a cute little top for going out for dinner or cute little outfit size down in this So I got this in a 10 I'd go down to a size 8 because it is quite loose and I'm constantly scared that like my boobs gonna pop out I'm really impressed with this little number. I think it's really cute. What do you think about this? Is this too different from what I normally wear? Would you wear this? It's elasticated here, so it goes in here You wouldn't need a belt if you're wearing high-waisted jeans because or you could tuck it in if you wanted to just tuck it behind the belt buckle But I think actually look nicer just without a belt. I'm just gonna quickly show you what it would look like with this bag on as well. Very boho, really cool, and the colors match perfectly. Now for the coat of dreams. Okay, so I saw this in Primark, I was there yesterday, and it is a amazing aviator jacket, but so affordable. This one was 30 pounds. Normally, if you're looking for a good quality aviator jacket, you'll be at least 100 pounds. Quite thin, but it feels very warm. So it's got a black leather, and then this gorgeous, gorgeous, creamy beige fleece. It's like such a good 
aviator jacket. It's got all these bits on it still. Oh my god, I love this. With a pair of aviator sunglasses, you could be Tom Cruise. For 30 quid, this is such a good jacket. So I'm really, really excited by this. Let me just put it on and get this jumper covered in fluff, but it won't matter because it's the same colour. So yeah, it fits like a dream. I think I got this in a size 12. It's got pockets. Oh, go to Primark right now and buy yourself one of these because these are gonna sell out so quickly go 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 right now stop watching go i would go up a size if you want it to be like nice and big and you can fit jumpers in underneath it that is it for clothing i've emptied my clothing rail onto the floor haven't even tried to put things back on hangers today well done jess what else did i pick up in primark where's that bag just a gorgeous circular bag with these gold stud details gold handles and an over the shoulder strap this one was 10 pounds and just such a cute little autumnal bag basic can get a lot in there actually, It's lots of room. I just thought this was really, really sweet. I'm wearing a lot of cream this winter, lots of denim. So just have a nice little pop of color, I love. Now I can show you this bag in a bit more detail. This is from H&M and I'm completely in love with this. This is beautiful. I don't know what it is about H&M at the moment, but their bags look so designer. This looks like a Celine bag. It's got a gorgeous cut detail here, it's magnetic clasp, really nice and big on the inside with this gorgeous green suede little pocket here i just love this i think this looks so expensive so classy you can get a lot in here get an umbrella in here get a bobble hat for when it gets colder and i don't feel like it's going to break all down to the sewing and the leather there's no chains that could snap or anything i'm so impressed this one is 20 quid so what an amazing bag two pairs of boots to show you and then we are done first up with this snake skin pair of boots from asos now these are beautiful i haven't tried these on yet they arrived this morning they actually feel like snake skin obviously they are faux snake skin they just look really nice they don't have any class they look quite soft leather so i don't feel like they're going to give me blisters i will pop it below in the comments or the description box how easy they are to walk in but they have a low heel so i'm hoping they're going to be okay the other thing is the style at the moment of the slanted heel can you see that it kind of slants inwards that is very very cool right now Topshop have loads of boots like that as well and i just think it looks really stylish but they have a slight point to them makes your legs look longer so i've got high hopes of these it's very statement to have an animal print boot but can you just see how nicely this would go as an outfit you've got the cream in there to match the cream jumper and they wouldn't look like whoa she's wearing snakeskin boots they would just look like just really cool my last pair of boots i want to show you these are from topshop these are 36 pounds they kind of feel like uh felt you did you ever used to have those like felt boards and like make a picture with felt that's what they kind of feel like these are like a dark orange leopard print these are good like not cheap but affordable boot and they don't feel like they're crap quality can i swear no they don't feel like they're bad quality as well so these are really great for hitting that trend as well and again they've got a good thick heel quite low so really good comfortable pair of boots but yeah i will be wearing both of these boots on my instagram this week sometime so make sure you follow me on there if you're not following me on there i'd love to have you over there so you can see how i style all of these pieces etc so yeah thank you so much for getting to the end of this video i know it's been a long one but thank you so so much i hope you enjoyed the pieces in here i've absolutely absolutely loved loads of it so you're always so helpful with letting me know which bits I should keep and which bits I don't need and should send back and all of that kind of stuff so let me know below what your favorite pieces were also I'd love to know what pieces you've been buying from my hauls so many of you dm me on instagram and I just oh my god it makes my heart so happy when you send me pictures of you wearing items of clothing I just feel so connected to you guys like that so please 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 let me know I'm so excited unless anything goes wrong on Sunday there will be a come shopping with me video me and my sister are going shopping again on Saturday so we will film our trip we never go shopping together anymore but yeah we've got the whole morning we're going shopping together going out for lunch and stuff so i will film that for you guys and that should be up on sunday so i really hope you enjoy that video that is it from me today thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys